What's up, everybody? It's Big Roth TV, and I'm back with another sneaker pickup. You know what? It's already unboxed. Not gonna hold off anymore. Not gonna talk your ear off to set it up. Let's just go ahead and get right into it, man. As you can see, boom. Look at that. Look at that. You see on this top, you got the off-white. Off-white. Nothing over there. You just see a logo here. If you all can see that logo on the side. On this side, you see that Converse. And then the label is actually on this end. And these are the Converse Chuck 70 Off-White High white cone and black baby size 13 i always go down the size and chuck taylor's all right now what i will say about this shoe before i go ahead and left shoe first it is that the chuck taylor the chuck taylor is one of my all-time favorite sneaker models it's just classic you can't go wrong with the chuck taylor it is similar to me to a jordan one you can rock it all the time. You can beat it up. You can step in mud. You can scrape your feet. You can get in a fight. You can stomp a mud hole in somebody in a Chuck Taylor. You just get a towel, wipe it off. It still looks great. It's one of the only shoes that you can beat into oblivion. And the shoe will still look amazing. I have, at this current moment, these are one of my favorites. is the Oklahoma City Chuck 2s here. Amazing shoe. Uh, I have two pairs down there. I have another pair in, this, in my other room. So at this moment, one, two, three, four. This makes number five of the Chucks, the newer versions of the Chucks. So let's go ahead and get into these, man. Because you all know, you all know how I do it right here on Big Rock TV. Oh, uh, first, here's the here's the receipt for all you receipt boys out there. <sighs> Man. Left shoe. First baby. Yes, sir. These are the off-white. Chuck 70s, man. Woo, woo. Yo, this is the second off-white that I've won. But I'll tell you one thing. The previous pair are no longer here. I sent them back. I just could not rock with that Zoom Fly and that pink. I couldn't rock with it. I sent them back to Nike. All right? But when these, these popped up, I believe it was Hess Kicks that said he sent out a tweet and he said, these are about to release on the Converse site. He shared the link. As soon as I saw it, I went straight to the site and I got lucky, man. I hit I hit my, my size, I hit the 13, and I got lucky. So let's get into these, man. You got your you got your tag here. You made in Vietnam tag there. And then on the side here, or let's look at the laces. These are the normal, you know, typical off-white shoelaces that actually say shoelaces on the right there so very nice touch there and you got your on this side it says off-white for converse chuck taylor all-star uh i think that's malden massachusetts uh 1917 oh on the side there i've owned a lot of chucks over the years but I've never owned a predominantly white pair. I've never owned the all-white. I always wanted the all-whites back in the day, but I just felt like I was going to mess them up, so I never did. But I'm going to just have to take that chance with these because these are just too sweet. But anyway, over here, you get into the... Uh, the uh, Dang, I'm losing, I'm losing it right now, but the... Uh, this tag, I can't think of the actual word. Drawstring, whatever. Got these right here. Typical off-white. Uh, the zip tie. That's that's what I was... I couldn't think of it. 
You got your zip tie here. Boom. Uh, it says off white, courtesy of Converse. Uh, I believe that's circa 2018 zip tie there. And then on the side here, again, you had your orange tag. I don't know if I spoke about that over the Chuck Taylor star. Very iconic star there. Let's untie the laces a little bit. Yes, sir. I'm keeping, I am keeping these. These aren't being sent back to Nike like the Zoom flies did. Like those Zoom flies, they had to go. I wasn't going to ever wear those. My wife wasn't really digging them either. They had to go back. So hopefully, you know, somebody gets lucky and gets that size. Uh, what was that? A 14. Here's one difference about this shoe in comparison to this one. Um, this tongue is a little bit more. Let me see. Let me make sure. This is a regular Chuck 70. No, I don't know. This this tongue is thicker. This the tongue of this one is thicker. It's kind of connected on the sides here. You got like the little the little straps on the inside there. These little straps, so it's kind of connecting. It helps to keep the tongue in place. And it also has that lunar line on the inside there. I'm hoping it kind of feels it kind of feels like it's the lunar line in there, but that'll be if if it's not, then that's gonna be the one downfall of having this shoe because once I had the Chuck 2s with the lunar line, I could never go back to the old school Chucks, man. Never can never do it. Um so let me feel around in here. Nope. Nope, they don't have that tag. So the tongue's not going to be as as sturdy and in place. This is a softer tongue. This is a softer tongue. More of the old school kind of model. But, I mean, is this thing? Please be the lunar line. Let me, let me see. Let me, let me get in here a little bit. Pull this out. Okay, that's, that is thick. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's lunar line, but that's definitely thicker. I don't want to separate this, but this is it's definitely thicker, and it feels a little bit more comfortable than what, you know, old school chucks. That's huge, right? <laughs> but this is what the insole it looks like. It has the Converse logo there, and, you know, the off-white colors there. So that's what the insole looks like. Um, I'm going to struggle to get that back in there. But... They feel, I don't know, because there's some cushion. It's some cushion in here. If you look on the inside there, it's like that blue cushioning. It feels soft, like these will be comfortable. Um, and I guess the only way to know if they will be comfortable is to try them on. So, you know what we got to do, man? Let's go ahead and get these boys on feet. All right, so these are what I had on feet today. The Jordan 9. The joints are hard right here, man. But anyway, let's get these up off. Ugh. Boom, Jordan 9. Boom. Get those out the way. And let's bring in the chuckers. Woo. Woo. Brush my sock off. And boom, we're on feet. Oh, that cushioning feels pretty good. That's some pretty good cushioning. Okay, okay, I'm not as I'm not as nervous. I'm not as nervous because I was I was a little nervous about that cushioning right there. So let's go ahead and put that back on. Boom, I'm gonna lace these up. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. How the hell how was that on there? Okay, that was on there like that. Well, leave it on with the tag and then with the zip tie I should say. And then we just bring it on over and boom and lace him on up. Lace him on up right there. Boom. Now that's on. All right. And let's get to the right shoe second. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm about to take an L. Don't tell nobody I took an L. If y'all see me take an L in this video. Don't be going and telling your friends that Big Rock took an L trying to put the chucks on. All right. We'll get that one. 
Boom. And then we lace him on up. I only go on chucks. I don't like to lace them all the way up. I just lace to the the second to last lace hole on there. Just more comfortable that way for me, but you rock how you like to rock. And all right, you know what? It may not be the lunar line, but these feel so much better than previous chucks. Oh man, these are dope. Well worth the purchase. Damn. I'm really digging these already, man. I just put them on. They feel so good, man. They feel so good. That has to be the lunar one in there. It has to be. Because these feel great. Like, I can wear these all day. One thing I was nervous about, even though I did go down a size to a, a 13, when I took them out the box, they looked long to me. They looked like they were too big. But... They're not. They're my right size. They feel, they feel just fine. I always would recommend going down a size in chucks, though, because they run a little long. Um, yeah, I can't. I couldn't go down to a 12 and a half in these because they're narrow. But lengthwise, my toe is like my big toe is right here. This is where my big toe is right here. So that's that's a good fit. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. Let me go ahead and let y'all get a little bit of that booty view. Let me get ahead and get a little bit of that booty view for y'all. Yes, sir. These are hard, man. These are hard. Man, thank you, Hess Kicks, man. Thank you for sharing that link, man. I'm glad I was able to get these boys right here. But anyway, that's going to do it, man. These are definitely a dope, 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 dope shoe. Dope shoe, and they definitely, most definitely get the... Ah! Brett the Hitman Heart Championship Belt kiss of approval baby no doubt about it on this shoe man one thing i didn't speak about boom orange bottoms i did not speak about that but it's definitely a nice addition you got the upside down converse all-star chuck taylor on the back you see that the normal tag that's on the back here boom how this is normally like that it's upside down. Turn it the right way. It's upside down on this one. So I missed a few points, but man, these are, man, these are going to be one of my favorite pickups of the year. I'm not sure if I want to do a 2018 top 10 video. I don't know if I want to do that because I don't know where some of my favorite shoes are. I, like, I've moved this room around a lot. I've reorganized stuff and I, I it's so many shoes, man. It's a little overwhelming, and then I'd have to go and find where things are in here. But these right here are definitely one of my favorite pickups, man. It's just so clean. They're not flawless. They're not flawless. I will say they're not flawless. If I had to be nitpicky about anything regarding this shoe, it is going to be the tongue. It will be the tongue. I don't like the soft tongue. Pause that. Make make a joke about that if you want to uh but as far as converse are concerned once i have gotten used to the chuck twos and how they have the thicker tongue that kind of stays in place as you wear them i i, I like that a lot more than the old school version of the uh the converse so um my one gripe will be soft tongue not thick tongue that's yeah. So, but other than that, they're very comfortable. I'm not sure if that's lunar line or not in there because normally the lunar line is very easy to spot. You can see the green on the inside of them on normal Chuck twos, but whatever this is, if it is, it's very comfortable. And I have no problem recommending this shoe. If you're considering it, if you're thinking about going to pay resale, you go on the, to, to stock X or whatever, don't pay crazy retail. 
or a resale. Don't pay the crazy resale. But if they're within your price range and they look pretty good price wise, I definitely recommend these, man. Um, let me, because I'm, I'm cutting this tag off. Let me cut this tag. Oh, all right. We out of there. It's made in Vietnam tag. I don't need to have that hanging. Put that over there. But I don't know. Should I rock this with the, the zip tie? Do you rock the off whites with the zip tie or do you take the zip tie off? Like, I could probably pull it off rocking it, but I mean, it is a part of the look. I don't know, man. Every time I was lacing it, it kept falling off, so I didn't know if I wanted to keep dealing with that. But zip tie on or off? Let me know in the comments what you all think. Anyway, man, that's it. Definitely a dope shoe. More content is on the way for sure. Thank you all for, for you know, subscribing, man, and following with me and rocking with your boy, man. I truly appreciate that. I see the subscriber count going up, and, man, it just feels good to, to see that people are truly rocking with me, man, and staying tuned. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, more content is definitely on the way, and um, I'll holler at y'all in the next video. Peace.